think you know a person. You know, insanity can be a very thorough disguise, Alex. Okay, I know the why, but I can't figure out the how. Okay, why don't you fill him in? Okay. Well, he needed pieces of you. And since he had access to the Ranger Gym and Cafeteria, all he needed was to grab a shirt for hair and fiber. He got your blood sample after hiring Van Horn to punch you in the nose. How did Dee Dee Michaels fit into all of this? Well, Dee Dee Michaels was a party girl, and she was expecting to get paid for hitting on you. Probably what she wasn't expecting was to get killed in the process. Remember when you picked up her purse at open range? Yeah. Right. Well, that's how you got the prints. Oh, my God. What about Brinkman? How did Evans pull that one off? Well, you were Brinkman's arresting officer. What we found out was that Evans was the prosecutor who lost the case. So he was just tying up loose ends. But where he made the mistake was cutting himself, thrashing the house, trying to make it appear there'd been a struggle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Ranger Harper, you are, of course, free to go. You're a free man. And good luck to you. And please accept this court's apologies. Uh, it's no problem, y'all. Y'all were just going with the givens. I understand that. Now, how about a hug from the gal who saved my bacon? Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. You're welcome. Over. It's the best case I've ever lost. <laughs> Ranger Harper! Ranger Harper! Carlton Cross, KBEX. Could we get a word, please? Ranger Walker, let me express my gratitude. Uh, you're welcome. I'll see you at home. Okay. See you later, Alex Captain. Before we get to the Q&A, I just wanted to say there comes a time in every man's life when he has an epiphany. Where he is forced to reconsider his beliefs. Where he reevaluates. Well, I had one in that courtroom. That isn't all you had. You're right about that. <laughs>